All right, so now there's another product. Yeah. Okay, so we talked TrueNAS Core, TrueNAS Enterprise, we, True Command even slipped its way. Yep, yep. It's dirty little pause in this conversation. <laughs> I snuck uh, it in when you weren't looking. <laughs> <laughs> TrueNAS Scale, you talked about, so there have been hints about it in the mm -hmm. community because you've had something out there on GitHub for a little while, and yeah. if you kind of knew where to poke around, you could find it. And then you put out, was the first thing your actual uh, forums post a couple days ago? Yeah, that was the first official. official I, I had put it. something out right around the beginning of the year just as a little tease. If you, I'll call it a tease. as to Because it's hard. We're an open source company, open source project. So things slip into the Git repos and sometimes you can't help that. But some right. people see it and go, that's weird. Why did they add a Debian? schema file uh, that doesn't make any sense right. why did that end up in the repo and then they go on reddit and they have a conversation yeah about then they have a conversation to, and then 100 people reply to it and next thing you know people are asking questions so and so then you have to make an answer yeah so, so we basically teased it a little bit that we're working on something new in the labs back true nest scale true nest scale is, is what the we name officially now, right? announced this week all so. right so a lot of people were excited about mm -hmm. it some people i was teasing you before were aggravated by it what's the fundamental action that's taking place so we're basically we're building our next generation storage device and TrueNAS scale is going to offer some new capabilities that we haven't historically had on TrueNAS core or enterprise scale out you know hence the word scale yeah, for yeah, the name was, yeah. was good. good job pretty, Morgan. pretty clever huh <laughs> but anyway that's that's the big draw for it but it's going to be based on debian as opposed to bsd and that, another reason is bringing uh, linux containers native linux containers to the table uh, KVM as a hypervisor, just a whole different tool chain that we can import. We have a lot of users who've been asking for that for years. It's probably one of the most most requested features actually in FreeNAS and now TrueNAS Core has been native Docker support. Yeah, the container support is big. Now KVM mm -hmm. is the is the intimation then that this is, could be a hyper converged Correct. infrastructure, a Correct. true hyper converged yeah. infrastructure. We have hints of that in the existing TrueNAS core. We have VMs now. It's mm -hmm. using Beehive on FreeBSD, and that's working. KVM's got a lot of different features and abilities that we want to be able to tap into and use to expand our repertoire, if mm -hmm. you will. But uh, you know, there's a lot more things to come on that. So we'll be announcing more. We'll be rolling out nightlies of this here in the next three to four weeks. We're expecting. Okay. Um, so, you know, obviously the word is out now. People can go look at the repos. They can contribute. They can get involved and see where we're going. And we'll be posting more details on that here in the coming months. Yeah, I mean, a hyper-converged offering it is neat. I mm -hmm. mean, given the vein of what you guys have done historically. Sure. Um, let's see, scale computing runs on KVM. They've got a nice uh, HCI solution. Mm -hmm. Nutanix obviously started out that way. Mm -hmm. So there's some... Uh, actually, uh, Red Hat, I think, is is using that too. Yeah. Anyway, there's plenty of pedigree sure. on KVM for doing things for like doing this. those kind of things. What do you do? You think you'll see a lot of multi-node, or is there a demand? You're seeing demand for a lot of multi-node. We've like had that? we have the requests, and we've seen the need for it. Obviously, we're a scale-up file system right now, and right. ZFS scales way up. You can mm -hmm. get pretty darn large. But at some point, we have folks who want to be able to scale out and add more nodes, and you know, build the cluster out, so to speak. So we've seen folks doing that homebrew, who are like, "Wow, it'd be great if TrueNAS could do that natively." Right. And so that's what we're bringing to the table. So that changes the game, though, from an IX perspective, a little bit on hardware, right? Because you're not exactly a hardware company, but obviously you have mm -hmm. appliances and yeah. you support those and, and all that sort of thing. The SKU count probably has to, to change. Well, we're, we're going to be allowing scale to run on our existing product family. So okay. it'll be something you will be able to upgrade to should you wish. Is that only on the multi-controller units? Or? No, it can run on the single controllers okay. as well, potentially. Okay. So... Yeah. And so what's the calendar that you've committed to on that one? We're just saying anything? we're just saying uh, early 2021 for okay. kind of a release date. It's going to have to go through the same cycle that 12 is. We're going to do nightlies for a while. There's still a lot of features to port over and get working on Linux. So we got our work cut out for us. I mean, we're nowhere near the the uh, finish line yet. But, but enough. Uh, there was enough information out there where you wanted to get ahead of it. Well, catch up or get ahead a little people bit. People <laughs> were figuring it out on their own. I, I saw some the stuff posted at the forums and on Reddit where people were look, found some of the build repos and oh hey that's weird how come there's a Docker file well, in here and you know what what is this? Uh, <laughs> well, I think some people might have been worried that. Well, does this mean that the existing builds are dead? No, and that's not at all. Not the case. Not right? at all. TrueNAS Core, TrueNAS Enterprise, those you know have a good future ahead of them. We have a lot of folks who love those products and maybe don't know or, or don't need scale out, don't necessarily need Docker or KVM, but they just want rock solid storage. Yeah, you know, so that product's going to keep on continue continue going. So twelve one, etc. 
Good. Yeah. That, I mean, that was easy. Yeah, we're trying to make every, you know, keep both of our communities happy in that sense, you know, bring some new things to the table, but mm-hmm. also keep our existing rock solid products uh, continuing to grow and evolve as time goes on.